Three guys. Three boom boxes. Three weeks. You decide the winner. This is the Sound Advice Boombox Build Off of 2021. And this is my build. All right, so here's the skinny of it. Parch Express sent us each one boom box. They sent them at random and I got, well, the tiniest one. Maybe it's because they knew I could do big things in small packages. So much bass in such a small package? You should know by now, I can do some big things with small packages. I really can't tell. What I can tell you is I got the MK Boom. And our goal was to take whatever boom box that we got and make it the coolest boom box that we could with the constraints that we have. Now those constraints were basically we had to use the flat pack that came with the speaker. We couldn't just build an entire new box or enclosure, or use our unique abilities to design something really cool, unless of course it fit what was already there. And so that was a really hard constraint because I like to redo the entire enclosure. I couldn't do that this time. So instead, I had to get a little bit creative. Now the main part that you're gonna be looking at is the top of this boom box. This is gonna be the feature piece. So for that, I really wanted to do something special. Now I did go ahead and design this in my CNC, but I also wanted to make it something that I thought you could also do. Now you may not be able to do this particular design, but I think you could follow these exact same procedures and set up some type of jigs to be able to do something very similar to what I'm doing right here. So this is the honeycomb that I decided on. And of course I had to add the word boom on there. And after all, this is the MK boom. Now you may notice that I didn't cut all the way through. There's a reason for that. We're gonna get to that in just a minute. Before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about some of the other changes that I wanted to make to the boom box. Now, this is small, so there's not a lot that I can do, but I can add a little bit to it. So I decided to add some new sides. And I cut out this really unique design on it, and I decided to also make an inlay that'd go inside that. That I could push in and glue in and just push it in just a little bit to give it just a little bit more depth and dimensionality. And then of course, there'll be something going on in the middle. I can't leave that just open, but once again, we'll get to that in just a second. Before that though, I had to create also a front emblem. And this emblem was kind of cool. And this had a little bit of a secret. You'll notice I cut the front. You'll notice I cut a rectangle in the front baffle. Why? Let's show you. With all of these things done, I decided to take it one step further. Now there's a craze in the DIY world, and that's epoxy pouring. Crazy enough, there's not a lot of epoxy pouring done on speakers. Why not do it on this project? But before I do that, I kind of paint the whole thing. Now I went ahead and used some oil-based primer, sand it all the way up to 600 grit, and then spray painted it the colors that I wanted. And of course, started gluing some of the pieces together that I needed to. I went with this bright blue because I thought it would really contrast well with the white. And also get that cool look with the black as well. Now, if you notice, I went ahead and carved in the initials MK into the front of this boom box because it is the MK boom. I wanted to show that off. I wanted to make sure everyone knew what this boom box was.
Now remember I said I didn't cut all the way through that top piece and the reason why if I did all those honeycomb pieces would go all over the place. I needed something to hold it together while I poured that epoxy. And that was a painstaking process. I used a syringe to fill in all those holes. Later I did find out that that epoxy really wipes off pretty easily with just a wet paper cloth. I kind of wish I would have known that beforehand. I might have actually just poured it all instead of taking the amount of time that I did. But hey, live and learn. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that there's nothing cooler than epoxy, but you'd be wrong. There's one thing cooler than epoxy and that's backlit epoxy. That's because you can easily add some LEDs to a kit like this and put some backlight behind that epoxy that we already poured. Now this is actually really simple because these battery packs actually have a 12 volt output built right onto them. A lot of people don't know this. Now you do need to add a power switch to that because anytime that battery pack is charged, well, it's gonna be on. So you're gonna wanna make sure to add a switch off so that way you can shut those LED lights off and still show the acrylic for what it is and the beauty that it has. But then again, you can always turn them back on and get that really, really cool epoxy look. I gotta say, I'm really digging the way this came out. Now this boom box is designed for anyone to do. It's really a beginner boom box. Everything is literally plug and play, except for plugging the speaker wire from the amplifier board to the crossover. That you actually do need to solder those. That's four total wires, but other than that, everything else is plug and play. A couple things I did find out later, the way that the amplifier goes in, it was gonna cover up my really cool epoxy work. So I couldn't do that. So I actually laid those in on the side and they were actually a pain to get in. But otherwise this was a really simple and easy build. I did glue things up in pieces uh, until I got to the final project done. I did wanna make sure to add those LEDs and boy, did that make a difference. But let me not tell you about it. Let me go ahead and show you the final project. I think you're gonna like it. All right guys, so I need to know, did I make a winner? What do you think? What I want you to do is go to my community page. I linked it down below. There is a poll there where you get the pick between me, Hi-Fi Vega, and DIY Audio Guy. Go and check out their videos. I linked them in the description as well. And make sure that you vote. The winner's gonna be announced tomorrow night, Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're gonna have myself, Hi-Fi Vega, and DIY Audio Guy on there. We're gonna announce the winner. And we're also gonna be talking with Parts Express Chris Perez from Parts Express actually, and he is an engineer there and he's gonna talk to us about the boom boxes, but he's also gonna show us some of those secret things that are coming up from Parts Express and from Dayton Audio. Uh, you're not gonna wanna miss that, trust me. All right guys, this is Toys DIY Audio, and I'm out. I'm out of ideas. Man, what am I gonna do next? Speaking of that, any of you guys that are musicians, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned because pretty soon we're gonna have a guitar amplifier build that I've been working on for quite a while now and I'm finally getting close to completion. Really excited about that. Also, the Cartesian speakers that are coming up, those two inch ones, I have a really cool build for those two inch ones that I think you're gonna really like. If you're interested in Cartesian speakers, go to my forum, toysdiyaudio.com slash um, community. If you do that, we can go ahead and start doing a group buy. We're starting to already work on that and we would love to have you guys in that. So if you're in America, you want to get some hands on some, let me know. And don't forget about that CSS sub. If you guys haven't seen that yet, that thing is sick. CSS SDX 12 dual passive radiators is crazy. I'm going to have that build coming up too. I think you guys are going to really like that. All right, guys. I'm out for real. Thank you to my patrons. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for having such a great garage sale. It was cool to see you guys get some really cool products. All right, guys. I'm out for real. See ya.